Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Rich Guzman. Hi guys, I'm Anastasia Halls, better known as Coach Ace. And welcome to Ace and Rich Freedom by Design. New episode today and it's the launch of the Hot Seat. Of the Hot Seat Coaching Woo! Call, baby. Woo! So exciting. We are back. We are back, baby. That's right. We are back. That's right. We're going to be actually going over and helping you grow your business absolutely free right here, live. And we get to answer your questions and help solve your problems. So that way you don't get stuck. Because the reason why we did this, guys, is to help you guys get unstuck in your business. That's right. Now, I'm really excited. Let me find out who is on the live right now. We are actually live simultaneously in two places. Really cool. I'm glad you actually cool, yeah. you know, put that together, Rich. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So let's see here. Um, let me refresh the page. Let's see here. Yeah, we're live right here on Facebook as well. Hey, Ida. What's up, Connie? Ida. Ida. Nisha. Nisha. Tracy Lee. Diane Robin. Jennifer. Diane Robin. Join the party. Woo! Party is in full effect. Yes, it is. Let's see, uh, David Toomey, what's happening? Moses. Moses. Good to see you, man. Let's see. And Dee Dee, welcome. Welcome. Good to see you. All right. Welcome to the party. So this is a launch of the hot seat. Kind of like a relaunch, actually. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do, I was going to help you guys get unstuck. Yeah. See where you guys are at in your business. And uh, no bar, you know, no horrible bars, they call it or something? It's definitely uncensored. Yeah. It's right on the spot. So the way we're going to do this is um, we want to actually launch this with a good, a good launch. So those of you who are here want to thank you personally for helping us launch this today and celebrate with us seven years of being doing consistently the hot seat and now we're going to go for another seven years actually and <laughs> longer right yeah yeah absolutely. we're we going to do doing that this. Yeah. and uh if you see us actually and hear us clearly definitely let us know in the chat and you can hear us and see us clearly um we have an awesome giveaway for one lucky winner who actually will receive an amazon gift card we'll do a drawing so make sure that you participate because you could be entered into the drawing and we're going to do an actual name in the hat drawing type of thing so you guys can see that yep. it's all fair and square. Yep, I'll do this number. <laughs> we'll just throw your name in there. And uh, this is how you'll be considered for the drawing. You must step out and ask us a question, okay? So that means you will type the letter Q inside the chat box and then go ahead and ask us your question and we'll go ahead and coach you on the spot and provide the answer and we'll enter your name into Rich's hat. And we'll do that and we'll put your name in the hat and then at the end just before we go off the air we'll go ahead and scramble up the names pull out a name out of the hat and you win an Amazon gift card sounds cool all right but make sure that you actually share this actual live right now go 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 share this live sharing is caring right and give us your likes and your hearts all that good stuff okay we appreciate you it be a lot of fun. A lot of fun, guys. A lot of fun. Yes. It's time to get our businesses going. All right. All so, right. who's dealing with a major problem? What kind of challenge you have right now building your business online? What is that brick wall you can't break through? Tell us right now. Put in the letter Q. Put in your question, and we'll draw your name. We'll put your name into Rich's hat. And as we're waiting for the questions, we're going to just give a little insight yep. on the hot YouTube, seat. YouTube, YouTube as well. You guys yep. actually are part of this, so definitely let us know with the letter Q. A question right after yep. it, and we'll go ahead and um, announce your name and go ahead and put that in there. And as you're getting the, you know, getting those questions ready, I want to give you a little background on the hot seat mm -hmm. and why, you know, is the reason that we put this together. We put this together to help people who are stuck in their business, people that don't get their questions answered. Um, we've been seeing this um, very often in the industry. Yes. People getting signed up to different programs and there's no support, no guidance. So what we did was. We said, you know what, why not just go out publicly and help people answer their questions, right? Because evidently, you got questions, we got answers, right? So with that being said, we, we, you know, we talked about this before, about the fact that you know, we always make sure that if somebody is stuck in one particular part, mm -hmm. we want to make sure that they get over that hump. Yes. And this is what this is designed for. Yes, it is. This is designed to get you over that hump and get you unstuck. Yes. Okay. Definitely. That's the name of the game. And we've so. been doing this for that long, and people have had breakthroughs here. We've seen tears. We've seen laughter. We've seen people get upset. We've seen it all, man. We've seen it all. Seven years of doing this thing consistently. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yes. man, yeah. Definitely, yeah. you know. 
So just relax, chill out, hang out during the party. I see our first cue actually in the chat from Ida. Rich, write that name down. Ida, we're going to put that name in the hat. Ida says, Q, making my leads convert into sales. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is a challenge because when you want to you know, convert more leads into sales, that is a thing that is we're always trying to focus on, which is conversions, right? And what we do this through testing and finding out how can we take our email marketing skills to the next level. Because we can build a list. It's not hard. It's very, very simple to build a list. The major problem people are going to have in the marketing space is how do I convert these leads into sales? Yes, I okay? agree. Mm -hmm. So the number one problem with that is email marketing. Email marketing is going to be the most biggest challenge for you. Write that down. Email marketing will be your number one biggest challenge. Okay, Ida. Mm -hmm. Anybody can learn how to generate leads from any platform. It's not that difficult. Yeah. You put some time and generating effort. Generating leads is like yeah, the part you'll, is you'll, easy. you'll figure that out. But the problem is marketing mm -hmm. is the answer to your problem, yes. and that's with your email marketing. Okay? Yes. If you could focus on that specifically for a while, then you will get really good at converting leads into sales. So how do we do that? That's the big million dollar question, right? Here's the thing. What I do is, is I create different kinds of seven day follow up series in my emails. And then I um, bring them over to a broadcast list afterwards. And what I like to do in that seven day follow up is I like to test a funnel. Now, for instance, we do like different types of funnels ourselves. Uh, we have like a new funnel that we created for five days that we've been seeing some sales being converted through those leads, which is awesome. Um, I have not opened up the fire hydrant on that yet. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's about to uh, be opened up, but I do, I, I want to just do some small testing first. Yes. Yes. Because we have traffic from different sources. So what I like to do is always make sure that seven day follow up series is giving value right in, in, in the first seven days or five days for that matter this was the five day that I got and that going week and that week that you're actually sending out those messages is critical to you so you definitely got to be consistent and I would actually focus on sending it every day it, it's so true I mean mm -hmm. when you focus on sending emails every day I mean you got it every day you know you got to be in their inbox you have yes. to and if you're yes. if you're just mailing once in a while it's not gonna work. It really, it really isn't. You can't really build a real relationship from just meeting people once in a while, can you? So what makes you think yeah. your email marketing can be treated the same? You have to be in their faces every single day, even if they don't want to. Well, that, that's their problem. They can either unsubscribe or die. That's just how it goes. So you gotta be in their face. You gotta be sending them messages of value and having a way for them to get to know you through your content. And not only that, but you have to look at the fact that when you are actually working your seven day or five day boot camp, you want to make sure that you focus on how can I communicate more effectively, like one on one? How can I make it so they're getting the value from me, my voice, my video, my teaching, my, my value, mm -hmm, my education? Mm -hmm. Because when they see you doing that, then they look at you like you're the leader, the authority, and, and that perceives you as a go to person in the industry. So when you start bringing numbers into that funnel, then you know like if it's working or not. Yes. So like, and I know I, I like to do visual stuff, guys, not just explain things. Exactly. So let me go over to. We're going to go to the screen and uh, actually show you what we're talking about here. This yeah. is really good for you. So I have a, uh, here, let me uh, go to my share screen. Okay. So I have my uh, share screen here in Aweber, and this is a campaign that we started testing. Um, and the open and the, and the click throughs are really, really nice. I love what I see. Um, but like I said, I have not opened up the faucet to this funnel yet. Uh, but I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. So the first one is congrats, you're in, access video one through five. And then you can see right here, once I open up the email, somebody like um, goes to the, the link it goes to pretty much like stuff like this, right? Day one, four secrets to building an online business. Okay? And then watch play the video. And they are, you know, they're being taught information, really high level value, okay? And what happens is they really love the content because it's giving them something really tangible, something of value they could take 
and learn from, okay? Now, when it comes to the last day, okay? Uh, let's see here. The last day we give the offer. So we don't give any links in the first four days. Uh, we're just giving the offer on the last day. So as this plays right here, you can see right here, click, you know, click here to learn more now. That's going to go directly to our sign up page, right? A dollar trial for San. Get started. And, but I want to share something with you guys. Every day is a lesson. Every day is teaching them something, which is super, super ultra valuable. Okay? Very, very valuable. So like day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. But what we do is when they opt in, they have to go to a thank you page before they go to our email. Okay? And what's going to happen is the first thing they're going to go to is this. I'm going to show you right now. Hold on. So here's the capture page. Here is the opt-in. Here is the thank you page right here. So you're in, watch this video now. And what this video explains is, you know, Anastasia's story, right? Um, her journey, her passion, all, the, all those kind of things in this story. And it's pretty cool because she'll talk in the beginning and then she'll tell her story how she started in the beginning with Staples at her job. The reason why I didn't want to be in this uh, funnel is because she's taking over the emails. So I want people to listen to her from the email from her only. Okay, I'm in it once in a while and stuff like that, but it makes sense for her to be in the funnel while she's the one doing the email marketing. right? So as she's doing this, she cuts over to a scene and she, she shows a background of staples I got a little you know a little background music going on and stuff like that and you guys can check it out if you want just go to our YouTube channel you know opt in, opt in and, and get the link and everything else like that so it shows a video of us traveling it shows a, a video of us like pretty much um, you know her video of how she started her story her pain what she used to do see right there she's in her sta staples uniform right there and we want to make it real very very real okay and there she is when she used to work at Staples when she was struggling and she was starting to build her business, okay? And then we show here to Hawaii how we cracked the code, how she really figured out like how to make it work and how her life is completely transformed and things like that. And then she goes back to herself again in the room and starts talking all over again, okay? Giving value and things like that. And she's talking about that go to your inbox because in your inbox you're gonna get day one of our Traffic Academy Bootcamp that we created, okay? And what, what that's gonna do is, it's gonna for, uh, force the person to literally say, I don't wanna miss that bootcamp, I put a fake email in here, I need to go back and re-opt in with a real email. You see what I'm saying? And that's gonna definitely um, help you out with more, um, more click-through rates and stuff like that. Because if you see here, guys, these numbers are really, really good that are coming through. That means that this is very responsive, it's working, and this is the last one. This is the offer. The last day is, is the offer, which is it's working. Like I said, it's just testing what we're doing now, but it's, it's you know, I haven't opened up the fire hydrant yet. Once I do that, that's going to be like hundreds of leads coming through. So Ida, thank you for asking and being the first to ask your question. I hope that information and that coaching advice was helpful. We have your name. You're the first to be in the, entered into the drawing. So I wrote it down on a piece of paper. You're the first. Who's the next question? I believe it was Joyce Jolly, Rich. Scroll up in the thread. I, I just and want to say something. That question, that was a very good question is a very good question yes. because that is the most the most problems people are going to deal with yes. because they don't understand the marketing side mm -hmm. of things. Yes. Okay? They can learn how to drive traffic. They can learn how to just, you know, write emails. 
But you have, you have to understand marketing psychology a little bit, right? And then you'll be able to see what's working, track your numbers, look at what's going on, okay? Okay, so. Okay, let's see here. George Jolly had a question. Where yeah, is it? right after Ida's. It's in the order. Okay, here. Okay, so Joyce Jolly, you're the next one. Joyce says, Q, can you elaborate on how to connect with people on Facebook outside of my family and friends? Okay, friends and family. Well, here's the thing. When you're talking to people, most of my business and Rich's business has been built from social media. All the influence from social media. And the way we do this is we brand ourselves. Okay, we actually start with three core activities that we do every single day and every single week. Let me tell you what they are. Number one, you have to build your own audience away from your friends and family. Okay, how do you do that? You open up a separate Facebook account and you specifically create that account where it has a branded timeline cover to you and a congruent profile picture to your timeline cover. The to show, excuse me, to show that you're the person to network with. You're the one with the authority, right? And you're going to start cultivating and connecting with people consistently every single day yeah. on social media, on that account, not your personal friends and family account. That one is separate. And the only content you put in there as you're building your audience, Joyce, is content that's relevant to your niche right what is it specifically that you're involved in what do you stand for right what are you about how are you going to serve the market right and how are you going to provide solutions to people's problems in their marketplace you're going to provide that type of content yeah you could put a couple of things some quotes and things like that up there about success and innovation and inspiration and motivation but you don't want to rely on that you no. want to have people into your world so if you're up and about if you're traveling you want to put pictures you want to put video you want to put as much content that's like juicy right eye candy right and what you can do is you know you and i are connected so and not only that but you're one of my students go to our profile and take a look at the last 10 posts we posted. See how much eye candy that's there and how everybody is engaged with those posts. That's the kind of post you wanna put up there that's similar to ours on your new profile. The second component and core activity you wanna focus on is engagement. This means that when people that you've connected with already as your new contacts or on your new profile, you wanna follow up with them, right? Thank you for connecting with me. How are you? right what do you do how long you've been in the industry how's that working out for you right how are your results so far do you love it are you working right now I mean you got to get into like the, the whole questions and answers type of thing but actually yeah. have it more engaged you know but in private chat not out in the open out in the open would be more like underneath your thread you would ask for people to comment below if they have an opinion about a particular post you posted or you know maybe they want to drop a one a number uh, a number one if they like more information what's cool about that kind of a profile is you're connected with like-minded people people who are already in the industry and you don't have to convince them like you do with your friends and family that you do what you do works ain't that the truth right ain't that and the truth. last but yep. not least sell to your audience this is the last component okay this is the other part of the core activity you got to do now we teach this within a system known as my lead system pro and you can get more information about that when you reach out to me Joyce you're already in as a student so I believe you need to learn this okay this is known as BES it's an abbreviation for build engage sell to your audience and this is what will keep you on target when it comes to moving away from your friends and family and focusing on prospecting. Yes. Okay? And yep. building your own brand awareness. But more importantly, mm -hmm. focusing on the targeted aspect of your, you know, of like who you're trying to attract, right? Yes. Because you can't just attract anyone. We want to attract a target audience. Yes. That target audience is so important because the sale is a lot easier than trying to convince someone. So being targeted is like your number one focus. Exactly. So I'm writing Joyce's name down. Joyce. 
Joyce, Jolly. We're on the list. You're the second one we're adding into the drawing. So sell to your audience is the last one I wanted to tell you. And how do you sell to your audience? Well, think about it. If you're a marketer and you're involved with either online marketing products and services that are like affiliate based, or if you're a network marketer, you know, you want to put the emphasis on products and services going to solve people's problems, right? But you don't want to put links on your profile. See, that's the thing. You're not allowed to post links on your profile because what will that do? It will drop down your engagement and no one will see your post. Your edge rank. Your yeah. edge rank will go down. Yeah. So the best way that we found to go around this is you could create a group, right? You could create a generic group that you could just bring all your leads into. And you know you can actually cultivate relationships in there as well on top of your personal page just to get the door open. And you can also plug in the people that are on your list into that group and you can post links in your own group or have a fan page known as a business page. The fan business page is basically the same thing. It's just a fan page, but you're not capped as you are with your regular profile account that Facebook has capped at 5,000 friends. 5,000 contacts, that's it. We're almost capped ourselves. So what do we have to do? We have to purge. We have to clean our, our, our friend count, count like down to like 2,000 sometimes. We go for four or five and then we drop back down to three and we do this so that we can keep it very clean, only target to our market. We don't want just anybody in there as a contact, especially if they never engaged with you, you never had a first conversation. Those people don't don't really care, right? They're not really they're not really serious, not really interested in building relationships. They just want to like. <laughs> and to me, a like is, is empty, there's nothing there. I want to talk to you, right? I want to have a conversation with you, I want to build a relationship. And if you're not willing to do that, then I'm going to unfriend you. Okay? So you want to either have your Facebook fan page, that's where you are allowed to post links in there to any of your offers. As a matter of fact, there's a buy now button you can put on your fan page easier or a click here to learn more button. Those call to action buttons are very, very helpful. We've used those as well as your own Facebook group yeah. and you can post links in there, but not on your personal page. What we do is we have our, our own fan page and then of course we build it up, right? Yes. And then what we do is we take and we start the live from there and then we go into the actual profile. So we share it from the um, business page, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. which is a fan page, to our profile. Right, and here's the thing, if you don't want to create a you know a new profile, which I don't see why not, because for me, all of my students do it and they have great success with it. But if you don't want to do it, and that's just a matter of preference, how you want to run your business, and your friends and family don't mind you talking about your business and it doesn't annoy the shit out of them, then just go ahead and post the hell all you want. <laughs> I mean, they're gonna either like it or hate you. But that's the thing with friends and family is, you'll find the majority of your haters are gonna be within that circle. So I would just create a separate profile. <laughs> but okay, cool. I have so, your name in the drawing, here you go. So the next question is, which is in YouTube, is uh, Regina asked questions and my question is, it's just how do I start? Regina? Um, yeah, my question is how do I start? I think I'll add more knowledge with my Facebook challenge. Okay, I'm putting Regina's name in. Should I just take my hat off now? If you want. It's starting to fill up. Your hair's good, right? I think so. I feel that cow like this, yeah. Mm. Like, let me do that. <laughs> okay, here's the okay, names. Mommy. The, I'm putting the names in the hat. Okay. All right, let me look at Regina's again because I was writing it down. Start to shake it. Start to shake How it. How do I start? I think I'll add more knowledge with Facebook challenges. Well, Regina. You know, I know you personally, you're also one of my students in My Lead System Pro, and I've also been giving you some tests that you've been doing great on in passing. And now you're at the stage where you're doing Facebook challenges. This is where you get to take the bulk of what you learned so far, and you're going to get ready to start marketing within your own Facebook group challenge, okay? And you're gonna basically learn how to apply the build, engage, sell attraction marketing formula and start doing that and reaching out to new people, new contacts and adding them into the group. If you already have a list, even better. Because if you've been doing you know, paid advertising for some time now or any kind of free marketing that you pretty much have your own autoresponder and you have your own list, you can start tap root into that list and start getting those people acquainted with your new group and then the challenge begins and you're going to start putting videos out and posting content on things that you've learned so far what do we live by that model learn do, do and teach. teach absolutely that's what you're going to do in your group regina you're going to now take what you've learned now you're going to apply and implement which is do 
and then you're going to teach it to your audience. Yeah. yeah. The best way to retain information is to teach it. That's how we learn faster and yeah. how we retain it more, right? By learning and teaching. Absolutely. So that's how you're going to do it. Don't try to overthink it. You're only at this, you're still in phase one, dear. You're still in phase one, okay? But we got Regina, I added her name to the uh, hat. Okay, so next question comes from Diane Robin. Diane Robin. Oh, we goodness, know, and this comes from YouTube, we know okay. what webinars really make a difference in your sales. How much experience should you have on YouTube videos and comfortably should we have before we attempt to try that? In other words, you want to know if you should be starting on webinars. Here's the thing about webinars. You know, there's no, like, if, if that's the first thing you want to learn, then go for it. Because I think it's a really good skill to have. Um, if you look at our uh, five-day boot camp, we did it like a webinar style mm -hmm. at the end. Um, and we're going to be getting our own web webinar platform pretty soon. I was talking to Anastasia about it. And we're going to be doing some ads with just webinars and, and to do some testing and things like that. So, when I die around, I got to put your name in, in the room. <laughs> so, um, I would say that I would not hesitate. I mean, if that's what you want to go for, go for it. There's no, there's no wrong or right way to do things. No. It's, it's just about doing it and getting it done. You just got to do it yeah. and, and test it out. You know, your first webinar usually can be terrible. We, we know we totally yeah. bombed ours. Is but it didn't, in, it didn't stop the, us from doing does it. Does the pro have something for webinars? Pro? Mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, they have the, uh, the actual template. Like, they have a template, webinar, yeah. like, yeah, it's supposed to follow it's, it's that. It's a pro, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I would do that. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, Misha lays it out for you and stuff like that, so, I mean, mm -hmm. I would definitely get on that. Yeah, absolutely. The earlier you learn webinars, the better off you're going to be. Yes. It's one of the, it's, a, it's the kind of skill that, it's a money-making skill. It's one of the highest level money-producing activities you can do. Okay. Awesome. Great. Who is next? Rich, take a look at Facebook. All right. Here we go, Facebook. Let's see here. Go back up. Hang on, guys. We're scrolling up past the questions as they are coming in. Okay. Connie Wilson. All right. Connie, Connie has a Q. Connie has a Q. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so Connie Wilson Q, she says, how to get new signups engaged and worked. Okay, put her name in the hat. How to get new signups engaged and work. Well, first of all, in social media, we have these tools to our advantage to seek out and find people based on specific data that we collect from new signups, depending what system you're a part of. So I'm gonna speak from a generics perspective because Connie Wilson is in the same system as ours. So the thing is, if you wanna reach out and connect, the best way to do this is to send out the very first email, which is known as a welcome email. The welcome email will absolutely reach them first because Obviously, when a buyer buys a affiliate or a product in your page, your sales page, they have to enter a valid email address. Otherwise, it won't get billed. So this is why it's essential to send out a first welcome email. And specifically, the components of that welcome email, Rich, can you pull it up? Rich is going to pull up the actual welcome email so you can see what I have included in my welcome email. So that way you learn what to put in yours when it comes to connecting with your new buyers. Okay. And the thing is, I like to outline specific things in the welcome email, like who we are, what did you just buy? You always want to let your buyers know, remind them, what did they just buy? And on top of that, what do you expect from them and give them a set of tasks that you want them to do, including, including how to connect with you on social media. Now, why do I say that? It's because I want to create the relationship. I don't want a customer to just be a one by night type of deal. I want somebody for lifetime. So how do I build a lifetime relationship and keep them in the business or keep them as a customer? I'm going to 
connect with them on social media. Well, you're I can, providing great customer service. Customer too. service is yeah. number one. You want to be able to connect with them on Facebook. If you can't find them on Facebook based on the email they use, then that just means that they do have a profile. So you need to do alternative searches. You could do their phone number or you could do their name. Okay, you can look up their name or phone number and the majority of them, if it's like somebody named James Brown, you're gonna have a thousand James Browns, okay? But if they have a unique name, it's easier to find them, especially yeah. if they have it on their Facebook account. And where's the email? So it's under Ace and Rich and then um, go to uh, Compose and go to those three dots in the corner. That's where my templates are. Canned Response, open up. And let's open up the Super Affiliate Network one. Blow it up. And let's do a screen share. Now take a look at this, guys. I'm going to show you this. This is answering Connie's question. This is how I'm able to connect with new signups. Okay, so what you see right here, this is what is known as my actual welcome email, okay? And uh, this is what I use to connect with my new buyers. And I send this each and every time within the first 24 hours. And I like to get this into their hands as fast as possible. But not only that, notice how I'm not using an autoresponder. I'm sending it personally through my personal email. And I'm doing that so it goes directly to them. And I'm able to track this using a tool called MailTrack.io. And MailTrack will give me actual receipt showing me that the, new, the recipient has opened this email. This is how I know that they had given me a real email. They saw the email, they opened the email, and they're reading it. So as you can see, I have the first steps. I have what we do. I have some links in there for them to follow, as well as plugging them into our trainings because I want them to be a part of my team. So I, I'm inviting them to come to you know an extra class so that they could feel better a part of the community. Right? And you're creating a culture, too. Yes, I'm yeah. creating a culture, right? And if you scroll down there, Rich, it's really not rocket science. I'm just basically telling them how to connect with me and be a part of the actual Facebook group, which is our Freedom by Design tribe. Every time we bring a new team member in, we add them into the tribe, right? And I do this, yes, with $1 trials. I, I They're still a customer. They bought something. So I'm going to bring them into, you know, into a Facebook group. If you miss this part... If you miss this part, if every sale you brought in just goes straight into a system, it's not a good thing. I learned that the hard way. The best thing to do is bring them into your own tribe, your own Facebook group where you can actually monitor and you can communicate and consistently update them on what yes. you're doing as a leader for the team. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. So that is, the, that is the way I would connect with new signups, Connie. That's the way I would do it. Okay, cool. One more question on Facebook, then we'll move over to YouTube. Okay, let me get in more paper. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see. Vicky Martin. No question. Awesome, awesome. David Troncoso? Yep, Is David Troncoso. Yep. Okay. That's Dee Dee. That, that, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. him, yeah. Okay, David Troncoso, we got you down. Let's see what your cue is today. Does the new profile have the same name or a business name? Excellent question. Excellent question. Does the new profile have the same name or the business name? Here's what I did with mine. In the beginning when I started, I came from MySpace. Remember MySpace, guys? How old it was. And I had, was under my own full name, Anastasia Haldridge, right? And then what happened was when me and Rich merged, we tried to put the account under Ace and Rich Guzman, but at the time, old Facebook didn't have that capability. And you couldn't use like symbols, so I had to put Ace Rich. So it distinguished in the new profile, Ace Rich. Now we actually have a little issue here because every time I, they, you know, people chat with us in Messenger, they think they're either talking to him or they're talking to somebody that's one person and I keep telling them it's a couple. It's a couple's actual profile. For you, David, what you can do is, let's say you have a middle initial in your name. So you have your personal profile as David Troncoso, but in your business profile, it's David J. Troncoso. See the distinguishment there? You can do that, okay? But you want to distinguish with two different pictures. 
So one would be for friends and family. They know who you are. That's different. And a more professional kind of a photograph for your profile, yeah. okay, for your um, Facebook business profile. And that's for networking purposes. So let's put his name in the hat. All right. YouTube. Man, YouTube this hat's is, filling up. It Ooh. is. I love it. You guys are awesome. All right, next question is coming from Moses. Moses. Okay, got him down. Moses says, I am having issues with YouTube card templates, adding a URL uh, for San. Can that be done and how? Woo! This is a tech one. This was a tech one. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm going to show you something, Moses. Back to the screen? Yeah. Okay. You're going to have to make sure that you add your domain name in the back of YouTube. Okay. It's called an associated website. Associated website. Okay. Look on YouTube for a video um, how to add your associated website to YouTube. Okay. You have to follow those instructions. All right. Because it's, it's, it's a little tech. It's not hard. It's just a little techy. Um, but once you do that, you'll be able to do this. Okay. Hold on. Let me show you right now. And if you guys are getting value from all the great answers that we're providing here for all you guys' great questions, give us some hearts, smash the likes button, definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure you do. Okay, so as you can see here, I have um, Anastasia's video that she just created uh, yesterday, I believe. Fast blogging, the best way to, um, to writing blog posts faster. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is... We're going to hit edit video once you're logged into your account, of course. And then you're going to go over to cards. And this is already done, so I'm going to show you. So what I do is um, I add a card. I choose the link. But I already have my link already attached to it. Okay. The only reason why it works is because... If I go here, you see where it says aceofrich.com, create a business you love? That means that that domain name is my associated website with YouTube. Okay? And I have it set up so I can, you know, forward or redirect any link that I want. Um, so the, the, the problem is you have to be careful with doing this on YouTube. You have to make sure that it's like a separate domain that is only for you and you can use it for YouTube, right? I use it with my blog because I have a redirect plugin that I could take any link and redirect it to any capture page, okay? But it has to be the domain name that's linked to YouTube, all right? So what I would do is I would find out how to add uh, your associated website to YouTube, all right? And create a new domain name for that purpose and um, I would definitely think about the blog because <laughs> if you have a blog, you can, you can do that with a plugin and I'll give you the plugin that you need. It's, uh, it's to redirect any, any page. So I can redirect any page that I want because what it is, it says um, Ace of Rich forward slash business you love. I can make that into any capture page, right? It's, it's so simple. If I want, I can redirect the right to the Super Affiliate Network, but I don't because I have my own funnel, right? Is this making sense? It's a little, it, the question you asked is very techy, just so you understand. So you want to definitely make sure you go on YouTube. How do I add my associated website to YouTube? Because once you do that, then that website will connect to your YouTube and you can create a card. Diet Robin says, oh God, Moses, we were having the same problem. Yeah. See, here we go. Moses' name and that. Moses. All right. Who is next? One more on YouTube, and we'll go back to Facebook. We're doing two each, guys, back and forth. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to go over to, let's see. All right, anything more on YouTube? No, Moses is perfect. Okay, move on Moses to Facebook. Moses got his answer. Awesome. Okay, cool. All right, let's take a look. So, let's see here. Zach Shahid. Hey, Zach. What's up, bud? Zach Shahid. Let me put him in the hat. Okay, his question. Q, instead of creating a new profile, couldn't we just use our business page? Your fan page? Yeah, you can use your fan page. Yeah, absolutely. You can use your fan page. Yep. 
But the thing is, your personal profile, it's still a personal profile, regardless if you have friends and family on it or business contacts, you can't put links on there. You can't. Yeah, with it the drops new, your edge rank yeah, with like the, that. Yeah, with the new things. We learned Facebook. about that, yeah. actually, through a training. And that's what we actually found out. Our coach told us that we were posting so many links, we saw our edge, like our edge rank drop completely and we noticed with the new algorithms changing uh -huh. with Facebook yep. we're not even being seen and we noticed as soon as we stop our, we're right as back soon up. as we stop posting yep. links on all of our posts even our inspirational posts our edge rank went up yeah and the only time we post links Zach is only within our Facebook groups that we actually are admins of or our business page yeah I, I love I love having a separate profile just for business with a profile because when we actually do um, we our Facebook fan page and we share it to the profile and uh -huh. it's a business profile, and we get like a lot more engagement and uh, it just works out better. Okay. And anything I've ever tried so far, it works out the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, with I think in your situation, Zach, you know, you're at a level at like more like a phase, you know, phase two where you have a marketing budget so you can do Facebook ads, but where a total beginner is, they don't even need a Facebook fan page right now. Phase ones don't need fan yeah. pages. They just need to get that profile up and running. <laughs> exactly. So, okay, yeah. Vicki Martin um, has a question. Vicki Martin. Let me write that down. Okay. What do you say to a prospect when you send them to the superaffiliatenetwork.com, capture, learn more, page through Messenger, and when they ask what do you promote? Long question. <laughs> then they ask, what product are you promoting? I mean, it seems like it's obvious that it is a super affiliate network when they have the... Uh, the knowledge that they have, they have heard a, f heard a few more, uh, no, a few in our community and oh. crushing it. I'm kind of lost. And what else to add to? You're it? not just kind of lost. You're over. You're really overcomplicating yeah, you, things. Yeah, you're, you gotta oh, keep yeah. things simple, Vicky. To be straight up with you, you gotta keep things simple. You know, when it comes to actually marketing, you know, it's not pitch fest. You don't need to explain or convince anybody. See, here's the thing, and I said this yesterday on yesterday's live. You're not in the convincing business. You don't need to convince anybody. Your job is to literally provide just enough detailed information that's gonna benefit your customer and help solve their problem. So if Super Affiliate Network is the offer that you're trying to actually offer them, how do you know if it's the right one? Or the right fit for them. You don't know. Yeah. So I mean, and you do that by asking questions and finding more yeah. about them and not the business. See, that's a misconception it people is. have when they go on Facebook and they connect with people, it's like they want to push their business and that's not the way to do it with social media. It's not. Social media is more about finding about the other individual and finding out what their needs are and what they're looking for and what exactly. they want. And the only way you find out that if you just ask questions about them. And not because only Because it's always about them. And not only that, but you got to get to a, you got to get to a phase where, and this goes back to attraction marketing, once you get the uh, actual prospect's attention and you're in an engaged conversation in chat, you're gonna go what is called transition. And that transition means that you're literally going to find out the holes in their boat first and frame your offer as the solution to their problem. So whether it be Super Affiliate Network, My Lead System Pro, Power Lead System, or your network marketing opportunity, or whatever have you, you need to make sure you're not so focused on trying to make a sale with your program and just focus on helping the person. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Right? Yeah. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, let's get back here. More questions. Don't overcomplicate it. Oh my God. And she's in the hat. She is in the hat. We put You're her in, in the hat. We You're put in you in the hat. hat for the drawing for the Amazon gift card giveaway. All right, who do we have next? All right, let's see what we else we got here. They oh, thank you guys on YouTube for giving us likes. They're putting the thumbs up. Nice. Yes, definitely. Thank, thank you. you. All right, who we have next? Well, Spencer Bell just joined. Hi, Spencer. Welcome, bud. Hey, Spencer. See. Joyce Jolly just want to say a comment. Thank you, Ace and Rich. Valuable information. I will create a fan page. Ace, I'm not in MLSP, but I am in PLS. Okay. If you're in PLS, then I will give you an assignment for homework. For homework, if you're in PLS, there is an awesome course in there called Endless Free Leads by Max Steingart. He's the instructor. Go in there after we're done. And your homework is to start diving into the Facebook course portion where he's literally taking you step by step 
on how to create your page, what should be on that, that page, guy is and what to t say and post on your yeah. page to get things up and going. That guy, the first that, week. that guy is a sponsoring beast. I loved his course. I graduated that course. That course is awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> yes, that's what definitely helped me get over the fear of prospecting and literally looking for people to recruit online. All right, let's see here. Ida has a question. Ida. Okay, so she's already in the drawing, but that's the welcome mail for buyers. But my question is for leads, is the Legacy Series the follow-up, right? The Legacy Series is your follow-up. Well, the more questions they ask, the more they, they get, get an extra chance. They get an extra chance. So go ahead and answer that question, Rich. Do you want to know is that the Legacy Series? What I did was I did a campaign, okay? Uh, the campaign, let me show you real quick on the screen. Ida has been added again. Uh, All right, uh, there we go. I gotta get more paper. <laughs> running out of paper already, huh? I need more paper. Okay, guys, so right here with the campaign series, what I did was, let me just click on there. The last one says apply tag. And that tag automatically, after they finish this follow up series, they go and move to a separate tag it means a separate area so when I broadcast it goes directly to those people on that separate tag which is like a separate list but it's a tag they call it right so you, it, it's like this with a Weber a Weber is kind of funny it's like in order for you to move them to one list to the other you have to um, have like AW Pro Tools an extra feature but a Weber does tagging so that means you could actually finish the seven day bootcamp and get tagged which is like having a separate list too, but they just call it a tag. So, um, so what I would do is, I would focus on not the legacy because the legacy you can't really tag them. Mm -hmm. So when you broadcast, you don't want to you don't want to broadcast over your legacy series because if you do, let's say this is your legacy series, which is not, but let's say that it is. If you're broadcasting on top of the legacy series, you're not giving people a chance to find out who you are in those first seven days. Very important. That's you so piss true. Piss a lot of people off. You can. Yeah. Yeah. So I would definitely work on the campaign. And if you don't know about campaigns, all you do is just create a campaign, name it, create it, and start it. And uh, and Aweber's got great videos and trainings on how to create campaigns, uh, different you know diagrams as well to show you. It's really simple. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So let me go back. And what I recommend, because I know Ida is a, uh, actually she's one of our students too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We actually have helpful trainings for you, Ida. You can come to our uh, top tier training that we do for our inner circle on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. If you can make that, that's 2 p.m. Eastern hour time. And you can actually learn of how we do this step by step. Rich actually goes over stuff like this during our weekly trainings with our team members. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Who do we have next? So I saw let's one on see. YouTube. I saw one. I think it's David. Yep, David Toomey. All right. We have our YouTube question. David Toomey. Okay. Q. David Toomey says. You want to read it or I do? When you are having a brain freeze on content, how can you leverage another content? Mm, Ooh, that's, that's a, a really good, good one. question. Yeah, oh, I love that question. When you have a brain freeze on content, how can you leverage another's content? Well, the way I would do this is I always look for inspiration from other people's content anyway. So I would first do my keyword research before I start diving into anything. I need to know specifically what content I'm going to write about, and it has to be relevant to my niche, and it has to be searched. So that requires keyword research, right, Rich? Yes, exactly. Keyword research is so important in finding out what the content is about. Um, when I do my keyword research, I look at competitors. I look at what they're doing because the competitors are actually studying their competitors and so on and so forth, right? And what you want to do is find out what the content's about. Evidently, more than one person is actually talking about it. Mm -hmm. That means it's in demand, right? So you could actually go out there and infiltrate your competitor's uh, you know, YouTube channel, for example, 
or if there's some you know content for blogging you know you don't copy you just have the idea and now you don't have to think you know something up from scratch in your head right which will it's just that's the worst way of creating content you have to create content what people are searching for yes see the work's already been done you just have to follow suit exactly and if you don't have anything to follow then go seek out five leaders that you can follow Moses, yes, it's Guinness. <laughs> and Moses and Diane Robin, if you guys are doing the same thing, you two should partner up and you guys should learn how to do that together. Because you guys will figure it out. If you put your heads together, you guys will figure it out. But I'm back to you. David, yeah, that's what I would do is I would leverage other people's content like that by looking at what they're writing about. Obviously, it's trending. They did the work. You know, another way to do this, if there is a way to do this. Um, Google has an alert feature that you could set up. If you're following a specific niche, you can actually get alerts every time that word is being written about, and that can ping you and let you know that that's actually trending. I know there's something called Moz. That's another thing that has a whole bunch of people's blogs actually lined up, what's currently trending, and you can actually follow that. But again, be very careful on what content you're writing about because you could be off target. The whole point of actually leveraging content with content marketing is to be very targeted. Like right now, I'm on a blogging kick. Okay, so I'm gonna write everything and create content on anything I possibly can from my own perspective and experience about blogging because I have blogged since 2009. So I'm pretty sure I can say a lot of things and give people help in my target bitch about blogging, you see? So that's why I was able to come up with that kind of content. But you don't wanna mix, you know, like apples and oranges. They don't go together, you know, like oil and vinegar. It doesn't go together. You gotta yeah. talk about, you know, your affiliate marketing, talk about affiliate marketing tips, right? Share some tips, stuff that you learned. What did you invest in? Why did you do it? Talk about your opinion on it. Be honest and literally be raw. People love it. Just tell people what you like about the product or service that you're using that's related to your niche and people will actually appreciate your opinion about it. So keep the content entertaining, keep it educational, inspirational, but more important, entertaining. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Vicky Martin says, um, Vicky Martin's got to get mean. a list there. That's what I mean. Yeah. I gave them the link, and that's not a question. No, that's uh, not a question. That's, that's what I mean. I gave them the link, and they have asked me twice what I promote. Okay. Um, if they She's ask still you, down. She's if still they, explaining. If they, yeah, but wait, wait a minute. If they ask you twice what it is, did you give them a capture page? Did you give them a sales page? You know what I mean? Like if you give them the sales page, it should say Super Affiliate Network in there, but it might be smaller on the bottom or maybe at the top. It all depends what page it is. So I would really, you know, if they're like, what are you promoting? You know, just tell them. I was like, I'm an affiliate marketer. I'm promoting an affiliate product. Why are you looking? You got to be, um, when people get like that with you, you have to have a little bit, a little bit of posture. We talked about that yesterday. Yeah. Posture yeah. and professionalism. Exactly. And so, if yeah. that was me, and I'd be like, oh, what are you promoting? Well, actually, I don't know if you noticed, but I am an affiliate marketer. I do have affiliate product that I'm promoting to you right now. Um, yeah, I'm just curious. Are you looking? Don't be afraid to ask. You know what I mean? Because evidently, they, they keep saying, send me the link, send me the link. I go, well, I'm going to send you the link, but I'm going to ask you one question. Are you looking? Don't give it to them if they're not looking. You know, you hold the reins. Mm -hmm. Okay? You hold the reins, and you say, are you looking? Yeah. You want the link? You know, you want the link? Are you looking? Right. And if so, you gave them the right page, watch the video. Yeah. It's all there. Don't yeah. try to explain anything to anybody. I'll be like, watch the video. I always say watch the yep, video. Yep, I will follow up with you in, mm -hmm. in 24 hours. And like, oh, well, I can't watch the video. Well, that means it's not important it's to you. Not, it's not for you. If you can't you know? sit there and watch a video, then I don't want to waste my time. You got to be uh, a little bit strong. Yes. Um, to take it more seriously. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I've taken it away from many yeah. a night. <laughs> many. Karen Steinbrecher. Oh, my God. God. Oh my God! This is joy. I haven't seen it in a while. Oh wow! Karen, okay. what's happening? Uh, any other question? Let's see. Hold on. Here we go. Diane Robin? Is it Diane Robin? Yes. Um, second entry. Okay. Read it, Rich. Diane Robin. Question says, when you post on your timeline and you get good engagement, is it true that Facebook themes a good amount of likes? They would boost your um, your very next post to more people. I hope you understand the question. No, I know exactly what you're talking about. Likes don't mean anything. It's okay. not what they're looking for. They actually, when I saw in the actual, there's a newsletter for official Facebook developers. 
And this newsletter tells you about the new analytics and new updates that's been happening. Likes don't mean squat. They want engagement. Like right now, what we're doing, and you see how you guys are asking us questions and posting, and the, the thread keeps going. Guess what? If you look at your newsfeed and all the followers of our page are actually getting the, the tick that they're seeing that we're live. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what they want. That's what they want. They want human connection. Even though we're digital, they want human connection. They want to see that you're really getting engaged posts. Even if that means posting a question and, and you got this 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 uh, uh, you know tennis going on. I serve you, I just served you, and it goes back and forth. Question, comment, yep. question, comment, question, comment. And that keeps happening underneath your post. Oh yeah, you're definitely gonna get some engaged rank. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. So that another one for Diane Robin? That Robin? is for Diane Robin. They got a second Ooh, one. All right. Yay. Good question. All right. Who's next? Let's see here. Okay. Joyce Jolly. Okay. I am not ready to do YouTube or Facebook Live because I work and I don't want my employer to assume that I might be doing business while at work. Other than engaging with, with my audience on Facebook, what other medium can I teach my audience? What was that? Her job? Hold on a minute. <laughs> Let me see. Hold up. Asa Rich, if I am not ready to do YouTube or Facebook Live because I work and I don't want my employer to assume that I might be doing business while at work, other than engaging with my audience on Facebook, what other medium can I teach my audience? You're gonna do your videos after you get out of work. You're gonna do your videos after you. Don't make no excuses. We had jobs. Let me tell you something. Screw your employer. I work 12 hours you've a day. got to, yeah. you've got, I'm telling you, Joyce, listen to me. You're gonna have to schedule the time that you're going to build your business. You don't build your business while you're at work. That's a whole different schedule. You're building a business on the side. Now, when I was at work in Geek Squad yeah. in the front desk, uh, I was looking at some stuff real quick, and that's about it. But I wasn't like building my business. Making it there. obvious that your boss can right. Fire so, you. so I would tell you <laughs> what I would do since you're working. Yeah. I would, cause you have a job. It's yes. a blessing. Make sure that you use the capital and start driving traffic, and start building your list. Yeah. And start leveraging your time if you don't have much time. Yeah. You see, I didn't have much time. No. But I had my job, and I asked for extra hours overtime. So I worked 12 hours a day. I grabbed that money and I was constantly paying for traffic. Every single week I got paid and I was building that list and driving traffic, driving traffic, sales were coming in, sales were coming in, sales were coming in. And it was just like, it was crazy because all these sales were popping through and I'm at work and that I'm like, I gotta take a look. Mm -hmm. Cause I was in the front desk in front of where everybody's yes, ass. I have to yes. you know, be real careful. And I'll tell you what street. Rich did when I, when I would actually check up on him during his lunch break, he made that opportunity to shoot a video without excuses. He'll be either in the parking lot in the car. or in the yeah. car and like doing videos. And then he'll just get that video up and at it. He'll do the SEO. He'll get the video description done and it's done. That's it. Quick video done for the day. Leverage. Talking about specific content that people are searching for within our, our niche, right? In our audience. And then when he come home, you know, he'd come home tired, but... You know, I would feed him his dinner and then boom, you know, it's time to get in action, you know, eliminate all distractions. Let's get on, you know, inner circle. on the inner circle. Let's yeah. get everybody set up. But for, you know, for you, you obviously don't have to do the inner circle, but you do need to find your content. You got to figure out what you're going to be able to schedule. So that's where your email marketing uh, skill set has to be developed. You got to learn how to write better emails and start communicating with those leads on your list while you're at work. And the way to do that is to have that already done with your legacy series in your autoresponder doing the job for you. So it's kind of like having, you know, men working for you and you don't have to monitor them. It's your autoresponder. It works on autopilot while you're at work. That's how we were able to make sales and that's how we were able to succeed in online marketing because we leverage the internet autoresponder. Uh, Google Alerts are really good, Joyce, but you got to make sure that you focus on studying your competitors in your niche mm -hmm. and um, infiltrate keywords and create content around what's being searched. Right, so if you think about it, Joyce, there are two things that marketers run out of, especially online business owners. Those two things are leads and money. That's what your content should focus on. Leads and money. The how, how do you get leads? 
content. Why? Where? Right? How, why, where? That's all they want. Mm -hmm. And your content has to cover those bases when you're writing or producing videos about it. All right? So I hope that helps. All right, one more question from Facebook. We'll move on to YouTube afterwards. Okay. Uh, Candice uh, Tran says, newbie question. What's the difference between MLSP, PLS, and what do you think of Online Sales Pro? Any help? Okay, I know all about these all these systems. Um, Online Sales Pro. Yes, you um, do. Have your name, Candice. Online Sales Pro is pretty cool for generating leads. Um, they they lack in really having really good areas to build your own funnel. Um, and that's problem number one. I'm gonna give you the pros and cons real quick. Online Sales Pro good for generating leads. They got some pretty cool funnels. Um, I never really made many sales with it when I tested it out with traffic, but I would tell you that some of the funnels are really cool and I do like them, but it, when I wanted to create my own funnel, it was horrible. Horrible, like ABC, like kindergarten looking old, doesn't work properly. I couldn't embed a video because it kept showing YouTube crap. Um, it, it was just, there was a nightmare on some parts. Um, and when it comes to uh, PLS, the reason why we like PLS is because we like using it as a funded proposal because it pays every single week. Uh, number one challenge that we see a lot of people face on the internet is they don't get paid quick enough. Like you're waiting mm -hmm. like like, if, yeah, like over a month, over a month for just payments. to get your payment, mm -hmm. you know, and most affiliate companies do that. Uh, but PLS, you get paid every single week. Oh, and here's the other problem. Most affiliate companies, including Online Sales Pro, including Super Affiliate Network, including um, uh, MLSP, um, but they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Mm -hmm. So what's great about that is it, it, it's good for the company, but it's hard, hard on the affiliate. I'm gonna tell you why. Because what happens is, let's say you're marketing, and you got people coming in, and you make a you know you make some pretty good decent sales and stuff, right? You're like, wow, I got about ten people in MLSP, man. I got about a, like a thousand bucks going on. I'm 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 feeling high right now. Woo! Within thirty days, half of them cancel, or let's say eighty percent cancel. Yeah. Your thousand dollars just went down to two hundred dollars in no time. Sucks. Sucks very very that bad, stinks, and we man. seen it happen over and yes, over and over again. That. Now, not to say that the systems don't work, right? Because we love them and we still run them, right? And we'll continue to run them. Mm -hmm. um, but when it comes to PLS, PLS, the person has seven days to cancel, and if they don't cancel within seven days, guess what? It's like a job. The following week, you get paid. I don't know about you, but when you can get paid a lot faster. It makes this industry a lot more fun. That means you have money, more capital, because the name of the game is to reinvest and get back into paid marketing as fast as possible, right? Right. To keep growing your business, keep growing your list. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by your business, your list, because your list is the one that provides your income, okay? And then when it comes to the differences between systems as far as training, OSP's got pretty decent training. Um, like if I was to rate it, like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Super Affiliate Network into the mix. Um, the, the, the best training um, for marketing, not solo ads, not paid marketing, but as, as far as marketing in general, MLSP is number one. They got that licked. Hands down, they got it licked, man. They got that thing licked so good that it really teaches you how to be a marketer, how to trap people to you, all those kind of things. I learned that from 2008. That was my first venture, right? The second, like, that would be my number one for training. Number two... Uh, would be um, Super Affiliate Network. Because once you finish the attraction marketing from MLSP and you understand marketing, right. then you apply pay marketing yes. with Super Affiliate Network because it's so good at teaching you about funnels and pay marketing, Correct. how to scale your business, mm -hmm. and which is incredible, which is awesome. They shine A++ when I see that. Okay, That's the way I look at it with um, Super Affiliate Network. After that, I chose uh, PLS. PLS has got some oh my amazing training 
when it comes to um, all types of stuff. All types of stuff. Because I like the fact that when I look at training, I can, I can learn about marketing, I can learn about running a co-op for my team. That's all in the back office of PLS, right? Awesome. And the funnels, great. New funnels always coming out. Get a share code, pop it in. Guess what, it's your funnel. Customize it, make it your own. Easy to do. Very simple and four easy steps. Online Sales Pro, their funnels are pretty much the same all the time. Nothing's really changed. Once in a while, you might see a funnel pop here, you know, here and there, but it's not that feasible. It's great because it, you know, your phone goes ding, you got a lead, big deal. I care about my list and that's it. I look, I don't need a ding. I just go log into <laughs> Aweber yeah. and it tells me I got, I got, I got leads. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So if I was to choose on the education side, MLSP number one, okay. And number, well, that's my first choice for education. Okay. Right. Number two, PLS. I mean, um, Super Affiliate Network. And then, then number PLS. three, PLS. And number four, Online Sales Pro. Right. As far as getting paid, PLS. <laughs> so, because we want to focus on having a funnel proposal. Right. How to create capital for our business so our business keeps growing on the back end. Right. Because you got to always buy traffic and yeah, pay for advertising. Yeah. You can't do that with just one income stream. Yeah. How do you think the big guys are doing it? They got a funnel proposal. They got multiple. You don't think they got funnel proposal out they there creating capital for them? Yeah. So they're not coming out of pocket? Yeah. Yeah. In the beginning, we got to come out of pocket to get the, you know, to get the ball rolling. That's normal. They did it too. But you get to a certain point that you have to start creating these income streams to create more capital for you. Yes. So that way you have capital for your primary business, which is your ultra high back end, which is super filly in that one. And what's also great is the fact that PLS is a generic system and so is MLSP. So even if you are out of, you know, affiliate marketing and you are a network marketer or a direct sales consultant, Okay, because we know there's a lot of them out there in the home-based business industry. Yep. They don't have a funded proposal. They can use either one, and they can plug it on the back end. And another thing I want to add about MLSP is they have different funnels for different things, and that means that your lead magnets are done for different markets. So, in other words, if somebody's looking about how anything about Twitter, they have funnels for that. Anybody looking about things on Facebook, they have a funnel for that. Anybody looking about network marketing, they have a funnel for that, which is the one that I use for the market that I go after. And let me tell you, we've gotten tons of leads through that funnel and it works. So if you guys have any questions on MLSP uh, or PLS for that matter, or even Super Affiliate, Super Affiliate Network, Online Sales Pro, I, I just, I don't know, I think they're pretty much outdated. Um, you know, give us a personal message in the messenger and here in Facebook and we'll get back to you and give you more details on that, okay? Okay, Candace very good question and you know as you're a beginner and you're just evaluating these different systems asking a question like that is really really important because it yeah. can be confusing like what is the difference between all these things and you're brand new to this industry so it can be yeah. a little overwhelming that's why I'm glad you came to the hot seat today to ask that and the benefit with MLSP mm -hmm. working with us what we do is we actually quiz you we test you we give you a form and you have to answer that form. This is something that, and And if you answer the form correctly, yes. you move on to the next test. So, if you don't, yes. we have to send you back and do it over again. And the yes. thing about that, mm -hmm. it retains learning. Yes. And it retains you actually figuring out how things really exactly. work with marketing. Yes. So. so when you join us in MLSP, you will be tested yeah. and you'll be coached by us. Um, okay. So Vicki Martin sent the link. She said, this is what I sent. What else should I add to it? Let's take a look. Okay. No. Never. Hold on. No. Hold on a second here. Okay. No. Okay. This will be a good lesson for everybody. This will be a very good lesson. Okay. So here's the thing, Vicky. Do not get upset from this critique, but this is important because you just made a mistake and we're going to show you how to fix it. Okay? Okay. So here's the problem with marketing. When you're connecting with people, let's say if you're doing that type of marketing, you never, ever, 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 ever send them to a page like this because they can get lost and it's not giving them anything, okay? Right? They can get lost in the mix and they can be coding issues in the long run, okay? So what I would do is if I'm talking to someone, all right, and I'm gonna do this on the fly. If I'm talking to someone, I'm gonna send them to this immediately. Or if you're talking to someone, you send them, we have our own funnel and stuff like that but if you don't and you rely on super affiliate network this is what i would do i'm 
I would go and I would go to my business and I would go over to you see right here where it says um, my links hit that up right there you know San choose let's say here um, I like the sales page I don't want something to capture page there's no reason something to capture page I don't, I don't care you want to get in let's go right now close them get them in the sales page so let me go to the sales page so let's go to either lifestyle sales page. Um, there's two lifestyle sales page. Oh, the new lifestyle sales page. Let's grab that one. <laughs> yeah. So I'll grab that one. You can do that one right there. Okay. And immediately send them to the offer. Okay. Send them to the offer immediately. Let them watch the video. And that's it. Um, if I'm driving cold traffic and he adds, yes, or, you know, YouTube or you know, if I have a link on Facebook and my fan page or something, yeah, capture page, cool, capture the lead. While you're not there, goes onto your list. That's cool, that's fine. But when you're talking to somebody one-on-one, -on -one, get them to the sales page as fast as possible. Watch the offer. Watch the offer. The goal is to get them to the offer as fast as possible when you're doing one-on-ones with people, when you're connecting on Facebook and doing prospecting, okay? Excellent. Yeah, so that's a big mistake. Implement Even. that, Vicky, and you watch your results change. Yep. Yeah. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Oh yeah. Very good lesson. Let me close that right there. In the past, we made mistakes too, like this. We. <laughs> oh God, yeah. You, you know, we're so used to like driving straight to a company page, and we think that that's what's really going to sell them. But yeah. they could give a shit about that. <laughs> you know, it's true. Yeah, they could really give a shit about it's that. It's true. Yeah. It's so true. They want to know more about the actual benefit, so go ahead and send them to the sales page is better, to that one. You're welcome, Vicky. You're welcome. Who's next? I think we said we were going to go back to YouTube. I see some questions here. David. Moses. No, Moses. It's Moses again. Hold oh, on. okay. It's Moses. Moses, okay. you're right before David, so we'll get to David right afterwards. I have trouble finding bonuses. How do you find your bonuses? Well, you don't find bonuses. You create bonuses. Yeah. And this is something that we struggle with a little bit in the beginning. Yes, we um, did. <laughs> so we, we understand your pain. It's a tough nut to crack. <laughs> yeah. What you got to do is you got to think outside the box. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like This is yeah. why it's, it's important to invest in your intellectual capital as much as possible. Yes. Whatever you're learning, um, you know, because you're in Top Gun as well. Whatever you're learning, you know, put together like a PDF or something, and like a you know top ten things I would start you know using to you know start my business off the ground successfully, right? Say so, hey, you know, I have a report that I created that is really going to help you get started immediately. That's a bonus I want to offer you, right? That's an idea for a bonus. Uh, another bonus is I'm going to spend 30 minutes with you to help coach you to get you started effectively, right? That's another bonus. Uh, people love the done for you, done with you, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Those are good bonuses as well. Um, there's many different ideas, guys, but you know, wrap your head around those couple. I don't want to overwhelm you guys. Right. Let's start with those, those two. And um, like for us, we got other bonuses. Like right now, we have a bonus when people go um, MTI, uh, which is $14.97. Um, that is a high ticket, and you make a $1,000 commission off of that. That MTI, when somebody goes MTI with us, not only do we set them up, we actually help them with their seven day follow-up series in their email. Um, they get a 30-minute uh, coaching session with us, and usually those coaching sessions go over because we get really in depth into their marketing yes. and finding out what's wrong with their business. Yes. We go, this is not good, let's fix this, let's fix this, let's get this together. Um, so like we have other bonuses that we added on to our experience and things like that. Right. Um, so like right now we have new members that are coming in MTI and we're, we are working on their seven day uh, series follow up. And not only that, not just giving it to them, but actually coaching them about it. Yes. So sharing the value on it. So this, you know, this is why the bonuses are more enticing. Yes. This is what pushes people over the edge to want to buy something from you. Um, if you don't, it's kind of like you're just another me too. Right, exactly. Like, like you said. Like I said yesterday, me too, me too product, yeah. yeah. So just stick outside the box, just start off with a couple things. Um, you know, do a Word document, save it as a PDF, okay? With Word document, you can save it as a PDF. Mm -hmm. And start with just, you know, the top 10 things. How would I start my business? You've learned so much with Top Gun so far. 
I would start, you know, getting some bullet points down there and say, like, look, you need your productivity, number one. <laughs> Two, you gotta get this down, you gotta get this, you know what I mean? Start thinking about this stuff and start giving it away. You'd be like, you know what? You know, you sign up with me, I'm gonna offer you one of my bonuses. This bonus is yes. gonna help you be an efficient marketer. You wanna be like a seven figure earner? Let me show you. Whoop, right there. You know what I mean, it's just, it's, it's, when you think of bonuses, but bonuses forces you to get out, you know, out of your, um, you know, you have right brain and, and left brain. The, the right brain is kind of the lazy brain. The left brain is more of the creative brain. So when the right brain goes, okay, I got to create bonuses, and your brain just goes, oh, fuck it. You know what I mean? That's the right brain. The left brain is like, let me get creative. Let me get my creative juices flowing. What can I give away of value? What can I, what can I give people that they really can benefit from? See? And that's when you start to, your, your other side starts to really start to think about really cool stuff. Yeah. So, hope that helps. David Toomey has a question. Okay, David Toomey. Oh, well, I got Moses in the cap again. Come on. I did already. I put it in there. Okay, you did? Yeah, I put him already. This All is right. David. <coughs> David Toomey gets another one. I believe you um, mentioned mailtrack.io for tracking. Is that better than Click Magic or other tracking systems? Well, no, that doesn't replace Click Magic. That's a whole different It's just game. an app extension for Chrome. Yeah. It's for your Gmail account. So if you're yeah. sending uh, welcome emails, and personal messages and you would like to know you know did they open it up regular gmail without it doesn't tell you that it's open like you can't like see a receipt so you have to find app extensions so what i discovered was i've been using this since 2016 for you know when i started super affiliate network and i realized that sending it by autoresponder it's it's an idea i've seen it not work so I had to go outside, again, creative thinking, and what I did was I said, there's got to be an extension out there that I could get a receipt. I just want a receipt to show that they're opening it. Well, MailTrack.io does that, and it will let you know how many times they even read it. So that way you could say, oh, my lead that I just bought from this solo ad guy, okay, obviously these leads are responsive because they're opening the emails, right? So that's a great way that you could use it. So MailTrack.io. It's a it's an app extension. Go to the Google Google extension store on Google. Google yes. it up. It's Meltrack.io. Okay, guys. So check this out. Here. We have more questions. That's his name. Huh? Put it in a hat. More questions. Your hat's love getting it, love filled it, love it. up, but I love it. Yeah, I mean, this is fun. Don't just shake it all about. Um, scroll up. I think I saw a question in Facebook. Let me see. Go back up. Norma, 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 where is her question? And we got questions flying in left and right, Norma. Yeah, Norma, where's your question? I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it either. I don't see your question. Maybe it didn't post. Rich is going through it. We don't, we don't see it. No. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it. Yeah. Oh, thank um, you, Joyce. Said we're awesome. Well, Joyce has a question. Okay. And, um, mm -hmm. write, we write that question, um, Norma, so we can get it. Um, George Jolly says, Ace and Rich, when you first started doing video, did you do a Facebook Live or YouTube? If you if you did YouTube, did you do several videos before posting it to air? <laughs> this is a story and a half, boy. Oh my God. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so when I first got started in this whole crazy online marketing world, back in 2008, my first venture was video. I was watching a woman for about a year before I decided to take the plunge and do internet marketing. So if you think people are not watching, they're watching. Um, and when I took that plunge, her forte was video marketing, so I had to learn her forte. And she was a makeup you know? artist. So, in, in Canada, right, and she became successful. Uh -huh. So I, I, I jumped in, I'm like, I like her. She's transforming. Her life is changing. I'm, you know, she's the real deal. I'm gonna sign up with her. You know, so I signed up with her, and of course we have to learn video marketing. So we're in a class with other people, and we have to learn video marketing. So I have to learn how to create ten videos, uh, the top ten things that pretty much frustrate me in marketing. And uh, if you guys know MLSP Brian Finale, he actually did the same thing back in the day a long time ago. It's a strategy. Just to let you know. Um, so. I did this and my first video was freaking horrible. <laughs> horrible. I was, I was just like, 
I, I don't know. I, I, you know, it's just, I thought I was going to be okay. You know what I mean? But it was horrible. But, but what she said was, you just got to keep doing it. And that's why she did the 10 videos, you know, like just go through the 10 videos. By my third video, I started having more confidence. You know, I, I was getting more confidence. I was doing better. I was, she was coming back to me saying, wow, you're a natural. You're going to be really good if you keep going. And I'm like, bullshit, I suck. What are you talking about? <laughs> Right? So when I first started Joyce, I started with YouTube. Okay? And and that was my, my, my start. Anastasia started with YouTube as well. Um, but what we did was when we really got more into the marketing, like right now together as a team, yes. we did Facebook Lives. Mm -hmm. We downloaded that video and we uploaded it on YouTube. This is how our new channel started to grow because yes. my old YouTube channel, uh, I had a big following. And not only that, but I was a YouTube partner. Yes, yes. But because I was a YouTube partner with the old owners of YouTube, which was two kids. Two kids owned YouTube back in the day, and it was a lot of fun. It was a wild, wild west. There was no censorship. There wasn't none of this crap going on today, right? No. So when I um, I was I was having music from copyrighted music. I was creating awesome videos, guys. Like emotional triggers people were like leads buyers man it was left and right it was awesome but what happened was when YouTube um, brought YouTube from these two kids um, they of course had to pull the rules down right I had to put the hammer down and uh, my YouTube was completely wiped off the map and it was because I had tons of copyrighted Damn. music all over my videos yep. my travels from my early days um, I, I got a lot of it backed up. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can get rid of the music and put them back up there to show you guys. You can see kind of like a, you know, a flashback. It'd be really cool for you guys to see that. Um, but from there, you know, I, I think what really is working for us right now is it, it's really like before we got the software, uh, Wirecast, what we did was we did you, uh, Facebook Lives, we downloaded the video, and we put it up on YouTube. We uploaded it on YouTube, mm -hmm. right? So that's, that's what we did because I wanted to build leverage. Um, so with the lives that we did on Facebook, before we did a live on Facebook, we wanted to know exactly what people were searching for in YouTube first. In other words, search marketing, you know, keywords. What are people searching for in Google? I want to know. I want to know. And that, once I knew that, I would create content. Like right now, we have a keyword that's going on. It says affiliate marketing for beginners episode five. This is the fifth episode that we've done with this keyword. And I put hot seat and then the date. So every week I will be doing the same keyword but a different episode, but it'll be a different date. So it's original every single time, okay? But there's a purpose why we do what we do and how we do it. So let's say I didn't have this software where we're not like doing live simultaneously on both sides here of YouTube and Facebook. What I would do is I would go to YouTube, find out what people are searching for, create a subject on that that topic on yes. that keyword yes. but do it on Facebook first as a live download it and then re-upload it on YouTube and optimize it that's what I would do because that's what we did for a while before we well, got the software yeah so video, I hope that video really marketing helps. is a great free strategy and the reason why we got so good at video was because you know we struggled for so many years without any income you know don't forget our story we were homeless and you know we were living in a motel six so Scary, we, yeah, yeah. we literally never stopped building our business and um we never let anything stop us no excuses you know we just kept shooting videos shooting videos and blogging around that at the and, same time and this is why we're humble yeah right and still to this day no matter where we're at as far as financially or mm -hmm. like you know recognition wise we're very humble because we still remember where we came from we still remember you know being homeless not really having a home not having an apartment not having a Camaro right now, right? Not be able to travel to Maui, Hawaii, or going to Reno and then talking on stage. And you know, I mean, all those things were still very humble. Yeah. So this is why, you know, the hot seat, why we love the hot seat, because we, we were able to give back for free and be like, you know what, why are people stuck? Let's help them. Let's like, and, and really generally help them. You know what I mean? Really find out like what's keeping them stuck. What's going on? How come they're not moving forward? You know what I mean? What, what's stopping them? So from our experience and our expertise and what we've learned over the years is that we get to give that back to you and say, okay guys, this is where you're at. 
Okay, let, 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 let's guide you over here now. Let's put you over here because you already, you know, passed this part and you're doing pretty good, but now you're stuck. Let's get you unstuck. Now, yes. this is where you got to be right now. Let's go. What are you waiting for? Yes. You know, and, and it's helped a lot of people. Yes. And this is why we do what we do. So, but yeah, I mean, I would definitely do um, videos. Videos, I think, are the most powerful marketing medium on the planet. I truly believe that video is going to be like like your search engine can be mostly video in the future you don't see it now but i see it and it's it's going to happen yep. so the more videos you create the more you're going to be seen i mean i'm generating leads right now doing this live i'm generating leads right now the only and way then, you're gonna, the only way you're gonna get out of your comfort zone joyce is to do a 30-day video challenge and then think yeah, of, and, and think about this mm -hmm. like when this live goes off it'll be on facebook mm -hmm. And people are going to get value from it. Yes. And then our, um, I'm going to go back and put the link in the actual description in our fan page because we can do that in the fan page. Fan page will allow to put links. And when it comes to our YouTube, that link is up there. So when that video gets scrolled down in Facebook and nobody sees it after a while, guess what? YouTube, that video is going to be out there forever. And that link is going to be up there forever, generating the leads while I sleep, eat, shit. Travel, it doesn't matter what I do. I'll be yep. generating leads 24 7, seven, seven days, days a week, week, no matter what I Damn do. Right. And that is the strategy yeah. that I've learned from the very beginning. Uh -huh. So, what I do now is I apply both. I do lives on YouTube and I do lives on Facebook simultaneously. And this is why the hot seat was brought back because a lot of people wanted the hot seat to come back. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? Let me they get a software. Asked for it. Yep, let me get a software where I can figure out, and trust me, I. I figured it out. I had a little hiccup at first, but now we're going live in both places because people are in different places, and you got to be in in multiple places. That's why if you don't have the software, don't worry about it. You know, create a live on, on on Facebook, then put it up on YouTube, and don't even think about it. Just trust the process and just put up content consistently every day, and then guess what? Things will start to just take shape when you least expect it. And we're not bullshitting because if you do a search um, after the live, do a search or open up another tab and say right in the Facebook search, hashtag Ace and Rich 30 day video challenge, all together, all lowercase, you're yeah. going to see the journey with our personal clients, our students, how they went from their first video and watched the growth and their transformation and their speech, their posture, and how they actually are getting clicks and results on their videos. So I want you to think about this for a second. We are in the middle of our own 30-day challenge right now. And we've. this is nothing new to us. This, uh, video challenges are nothing new to us. Mm -hmm. But the difference that this one makes is that two reasons. We are like literally doing three videos a day, Monday through Friday and doing one video on Saturday and Sunday. So every day we're doing a video, but Monday through Friday, there are three videos going out, okay? This is one, and then when we get off of this, she's gotta create her own, and I gotta and create my gotta own. Create his own. Okay, so that means yeah. we gotta go to YouTube, we gotta do keyword research, we gotta find out what people are searching for. So what we're telling you is something that we're doing ourselves. So we wouldn't tell you to do something unless we're not doing it ourselves. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> that You know what that's called? That's called integrity. Okay, so now when we get off of here, guys, our work's not done, right? Because we're hungry. We never forget where we come from. Yeah. We never forget the challenges that we face. We all have the ability to change our lives. We all have the ability to make things happen. That software, Moses, is called Wirecast. There's two versions, the studio version and there's the pro version. Studio, I think it's like around five, 600 bucks. And the studio, I mean the pro version, is um, a thousand, which is the one we have, and it's not an affiliate. Yeah, it's, it's not an affiliate. Computer yeah. software, and it, and it does simultaneously. Yeah. Um, it, I, God, I just found out it does Twitter too. You know, Periscope. It does Twitch. It does. I'm, I'm researching more about getting yeah. our videos out to multiple places mm -hmm. at once. So, but you get to this point, guys, by just taking action and doing things every single day. Yes. Okay. Yes. Every single day. All right, guys. We're gonna take one more question from YouTube. One more question for Facebook, and then we gotta go. We gotta do a draw. Norma found her questions. There it is, Norma, right there. Yep, Norma's gonna she be the one back. on Facebook. Okay, Norma asks, "Is there a course that gets us familiar with what we offer and how to select the right course to the leads' needs? Also, what are some keywords to tell us 
it's time to sell. Okay, so when you, well, no, you, you have to think about this. When you're first starting out, the misconception is it's time to be a marketer. Not time to sell, it's time to be a marketer. You sell when you become a marketer. Because I used to think that way. Okay, I got to sell, I got to sell, I got to sell. Yes, you got to sell, but you can't sell unless you learn to be a marketer first, right? So the, the, there's, there's courses out there that teach you how to generate leads. There's courses out there that teach you about conversions, right? Like Super Affiliate Network, Misha teaches all about that. But what we do differently is, what I've learned from back in the day, is understanding people's needs. Understanding you know, where they are in their business and figuring out exactly where they are and what they're doing. So let's say that right now, have you set up your autoresponder? That's number one. Have you, and this is about being a marketer. So you can't think about selling until this stuff gets accomplished. Have you set up your autoresponder? Number one, have you set up your seven day follow-up series? Do you know how to set up a seven day follow-up series, right? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Have you learned how to create, um, you know, like your own emails in a way that trigger people to buy skill set, right? Have you actually um, followed up with people with broadcasting consistently for 90 days? Are you driving traffic consistently for 90 days? You see the difference here? You see the difference? Yeah. Everybody wants to sell, but you got to understand the marketing side of things. Like, your autoresponder should be set up, okay? Which it is, because I helped you out with that because you did um, get one of my bonuses. And then now, you have to work on your seven day follow up series, Norma Jean. Mm -hmm. You have to work on your seven day follow up series, okay? Because that's going to be like your catalyst before you start driving traffic. And then as you drive traffic, you get to start testing. Now you're becoming a marketer. Now you're starting to see, hey, what's working? What's not working? Oh, this is working. I, I need to do more of that. Right. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? See, people think that it's just like easy as, as one, two, three. And it isn't. It isn't. No. We have to be a marketer. And this is why yeah. you guys have joined us I used to, I used to in our like team, that. right? Yeah. Most, the majority of people join us in our team because we focus on teaching to be a marketer. Mm -hmm. And we get them from that blind blindness of like, okay, I got to make sales. I got to make sales. But that's not the key. The key is like, damn, I need to learn to be a marketer, man. I need to learn how to generate my own leads. I need to learn how to follow up. I need to learn how to convert these leads into sales. Yeah, exactly. I need to be the damn marketer. I need to build my brand. Who am I? What am I standing for? What do I create? What do I do? Am I investing in my intellectual capital? Am I investing more in learning about what I really want to accomplish and master? To become a master at my own craft? So that way I know I can give back to the community. I know I can give back to the marketplace. Because the more value you create, the more income you make. I learned that from Jim Rohn. I'm not making that up. Yeah. I just learned that from a millionaire. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Right? Right. The most value you create out in the marketplace, the more money you're going to make. The more value you give to your list, the more money you're going to make. You see? Everyone has the ability to, to do it. Why, why are some people doing it and some people are not? It's like a, a, like a fear, frozen, scared, or, you know what I mean? Don't be scared, man. It's just... It's just the internet. You just got to take action and apply these principles. And nobody's going to tell you that. That's what I'm telling you. Right? And you got to drive traffic. Yeah. But you also got to make sure the seven-day follow-up series is created. Right? Tell your story. Be real with people in the first seven days. I've been saying. You know what I mean? I've been saying it. Touch their hearts, man. Emotions. Pull on those heartstrings hard. You know? And then, you provide, know. And then provide that offer. Yes. And say, this is what I'm doing. This is what I believe in. Do you know why I believe in it? Because you should not be at your job. You should be living a life of freedom. You should be free. You should be a freedom warrior. Right? You should be free. That's right. By the way, I see the name of our new group, our new brand, Freedom Warriors. You guys don't know that, but that's, that's our new tag. So understand, guys, that you got to really ask yourself, Am I doing what it really takes every single day? Am I doing what it really takes? Am I being honest with myself? Right? So, like, let's say I get off this call 
And me and Anastasia do not do a video for YouTube. I just said we don't do that. Oh, dear. <laughs> what would it feel like? Now, this is what would happen. Our minds would justify excuses. It would say, well, you know, I could just do it tomorrow, right? We can make it up Saturday and Sunday. Right? So easy. To or we could batch on one day of the week, so that way it's done for the whole week. Or do 30 days worth and just get it up and out of the way, right? You could justify so many excuses to get things done. Mm -hmm. But the more that you do that, the more you're pushing yourself away from your freedom. Damn right. And that's what, that's what happens. You know what? I've been through it. I know. But I know the process. I know the hustle. I know what it takes. And I see you guys. And I believe in you guys. But... Even, even if I believe in you, you have to believe in yourself. And by believing in yourself, yes. is you have to ask yourself, what actions am I taking daily That's to right. make it happen? Yes, exactly. Let me get that last question on, on YouTube over here. YouTube, let's take a look. Uh, let's see. Oh, drop my um, I think we're good. Let me see if there's one more question on Facebook. I'll take that one just for a bonus. Did you get... Um, yeah. yeah. Moses, yeah, I got him. All right. And you, and you got, um... Mm-hmm, Joyce, I got her. And did you get... Anybody that we missed? I see comments. So you, got, you, got Norma, you got Norma in the hat? I got Norma's already there. In the hat? Okay, yeah. good, good. And I like what Diane Robbins said as a comment. It's like, look, you know, uh, look how many people, you know, Ace and Rich has helped today. It's true. And that's the way you got to treat your business. We don't give, we don't give up on you. help today? Yeah, we don't give up on you. Yeah. We're never going to give up on you. The, the, the time we give up on you is when you give up on yourself. That's right. It's That's when it. you throw in that towel. Like, all right, I'm done. I'm quit. This ain't for me. Yeah. Let's see here. I think we missed one question here. George Jolly says, Ace Rich, you are using terms I am not familiar with, such as funded proposal. What is a funded proposal? Great question. Okay. This is a, this is a good one to close out. Okay. All right, Joyce, she gets out. another entry. Yeah. Joyce is on fire she's with on questions, fire with questions and she's Woo. got more entries. Yeah. Okay, Joyce, here we go. And yes, Joyce, um, endless free leads, Max Steingart, absolutely. Yes. All right, last question for the hot seat goes off, and we're going to go ahead and draw the names. All righty, okay. Do you want me to take this? Yes. <laughs> I love it when you explain this because you're the one that taught me about it. Okay. So the more that I hear it from him and the way he explains it really good. Go ahead. So we need money, okay? And the reason why we need money is because we need to make sure that we're advertising on a consistent basis with our business. If we're not advertising on a consistent basis, we can't sift and sort and find the serious from the curious. So number one problem that people you know, that run into in this industry, well, I should say two problems, which is really one problem, but it's linked to two. They run out of money and they run out of leads. If they run out of money, they can't generate leads, okay? Number one problem. So how do we solve that problem? We solve that problem by having a funding proposal. A funding proposal is something that actually funds your marketing for your primary business on the back end. I learned that from MLSP back in the day, Joyce, just to let you know, okay? So uh, what Brian taught me was that when you have something high end in the back end, if you can create capital and with affiliates, that money will fund your marketing for your primary offer so you can easily scale your business, right? So that is so key to success online. Nobody's gonna tell you that, but the leaders do have funded proposals. They do. If they didn't, they wouldn't still be marketing and be 100% free on the internet without a job, mm, okay? So true. Because what? let me ask you this. What happens if you have a funded proposal and your business goes out of business? What do you do? Think about it. You have one offer that you promote, just to keep it simple. But you have another offer that's a funded proposal that's funding your marketing for your primary offer. What do you do when that offer is gone? Nothing. You can't do anything. Mm -mm. You're doomed. But if you had a funded proposal going that was creating capital for you, all you would have to do is just plug in another offer. 
and you're back in the green. You see? Uh, it's something that I've learned through mistakes in the past. I'm not just relying on just specifically, you know, just on my offer, because I was doing that and I saw things actually decline. And when I saw it decline, I said, that's why a funded proposal is important. Funded proposal keeps everything afloat so it keeps growing. Without it, it's very difficult to scale. Very difficult. So that was a great question. And I'm glad that we ended it on that question. So now it's time for who will win the, the Amazon of gift card here on the hot seat. You guys asked lots of great questions, those you participated. So let's see who's going to win the Woo! Amazon gift card. And how much is it? How much is the Amazon gift card? It's 20 bucks. Twenty dollars. So you guys could actually uh, mm. buy a couple of books. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Mindset, mindset, man. All about the mindset. I was gonna give away some books, but I said, you know what? I'll let them pick out a book. Yeah. I like. There we go. I love shopping on Amazon. Okay, so. guys. I want you guys to tell me. Wait, let me know. Say, I'm ready. Come Let's on. See it in the chat. In the comments. I'm ready. Who's it Come gonna on. be? Twenty bucks. Let's Amazon go. gift card. Twenty dollar Amazon gift card giveaway. Come on. Who's it gonna Let's be? Let's go. We'll scroll down, Rich. <laughs> You're gonna have to use. I'm your like, mouth. I'm like going like this. <laughs> and going like this. I'm shaking it. I'm shaking it. Come on, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, guys, ready? You ready? Okay, Moses, Moses ready. is ready. Let's see here. Oh, the dog. The dogs are ready. <laughs> the mint pins, the babies, they're ready. Okay. Let's go. Who's winning $20 Let's go. What's... gift cards? I don't know. I'm going to shake it to one pop. Oh! One popped out. One popped out. Let's see who it I'm is. I'm going to let Anastasia do the honors. Okay. What are you going in for? We're not. We're done. We're done. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. The mystery winner is Moses Whitman. <laughs> and that's funny. He's the one that says, the first one that says, I'm ready. <laughs> Name popped out of the hat. Not the fret, guys. I wouldn't do it to you. I got a runner up coming up. Woo! Runner up. Oh! Oh, what was that? oh, oh, oh. Okay, so Moses won $20 Amazon gift card courtesy of Ace and Rich. All right. And we have another one. Vicky Martin! Vicky Martin! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! There you go. Congratulations to both of you guys. Thank you so much for. Launching the actual hot seat relaunch yes. with us at the launch party. Launch and party. you guys, what was $40 we gave away? Ooh, yeah. Awesome. That's so good. we have Moses Whitman who won $20 and Vicki Martin also won $20. All right. Congratulations to you both. This was awesome. I'm so glad you guys learned a lot from this. Okay. And before we let you go, um, we want to share something with you that we found out today that was uh, a tragic thing that happened. Um, you have the link, right? I can, yeah, I can get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. get get the link. Um, I want you to tell the story because you've been. So basically, it so just to share something with you to end on this note, you know, there's a lot to be grateful for, guys. You know, a lot of grateful um, to be grateful for, but um, unfortunately, there was something that happened in the Philippines, and uh, they had this very bad fire that a lot of people lost their homes. They lost everything. They lost everything. Everything. And one of those victims was the actual employee that works for our company, the Super Affiliate Network, named Jal Afrez. And she works really, really hard to keep, you know, the company, you know, like running. She handles the customer support, service questions, and things like that. She's always dedicated to her job. She never misses a day. And unfortunately, Jal and her family was affected by the fire. Now, thank goodness they're all safe and they're all staying, you know, somewhere safe within that, you know, that area. Um, but what we've been able to do is put together a GoFund for her so that we could raise money for her and her family. And so far, what was raised in accumulation between the community of the Super Affiliate Network yeah. was over $2,000. So That's really cool. we're still collecting to help her and her family during this time of need. Yeah, if you'd like. and, and just, I yeah. mean, a little goes a long way, guys. It does. Especially if we all it chip really in does. and stuff like yeah. that. So. 
Yeah. Uh, we're going to be chipping in as soon as we get off the call and everything and stuff like that. We're going to so be helping her. We her just found out. this out, actually, because we're so I focused just found on our, this out. Yeah. We're so focused on the marketing that we didn't, you know, yeah. hear the But the there's, there's nothing that goes past our community, something like this, and this was actually a call for help from Misha Wilson, who is the CEO of the Super Affiliate Network. Yeah. And us being, you know, his top earners, you know, we just found this out because we've been so busy, but we will definitely pitch in and help Jow and her family with a nice donation. So yeah. just letting you guys know that, you know, we are who we are. We will never forget where we come from. And we're always willing to help, you know, somebody who's, you know, always helping us out too when it comes to things like this so yeah. just letting you guys know about that but if you want to help out let us know and you know send me a private message and i'll send you the gofundme link for her yeah. and her family so that you can have the right one and then just donate yeah. whatever your heart's desire to want to donate so guys um this is it this has been a great uh, this relaunch was fun. of the hot seat this was like this um, was so much fun i'm so happy if you guys have any questions on you know on on pls or um you know MLSP for that matter, mm -hmm. and you're just confused and not sure about it. Um, just definitely hit Anastasia up on our private messenger with Asa Rich on our Facebook. Yes, and um, we'll get back to you and help you. And out with for that. those of you who won the prizes, I would like um, I will be in contact with you, Moses. I'll get your email because that's how the Amazon gift card works. I'll I'll send it to you, and Vicky, I'll send it to you digitally. So that way I have your emails, and then you guys will get a digital Amazon gift card for twenty bucks a piece. Ow. All right. All right. So, thank you so much for helping us launch the hot seat. We're back in action again. Yes. That means you guys can tune in next Friday, same time, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, same bat channel. And for those of you who are our subscribers here on uh, YouTube, make sure you click the notification bell so you don't miss a beat when we go live. So you can tune into this awesome training, okay? And those of you on Facebook, make sure you click the notifications, okay? That's there. It is there. It's called follow so that you don't miss a beat when we go live as well, all right? So smash that likes button. Make sure you comment below. And you, I mean, I want you to flood that comment right there on YouTube and tell everybody, like, the hot seat rocks. It's freaking awesome. And all feel right? free to share the replay anywhere you want, your groups, your timelines. Listen. It, it's there's there's no links here guys you can share it nope. right now you can share it right now let people see the awesome answers that came from your burning questions right, right. let's help some people out just by sharing because sharing is caring and if you're on YouTube we do have our link here that means it's a number one recommend re recommend the <laughs> program that we have that we use to make a living on the internet okay it's all about creating a business you love we have passion about creating a lifestyle that we love so just click on the link below Go to that and you'll find out exactly what we're talking about, okay? So make sure, like I said, comment, like, subscribe, smash the, that bell, and make sure that you don't miss any notifications of what's going on when we go live. So we're going to celebrate. All right, we're going to celebrate. We're Woo! on seven years, baby. Awesome with the hot seat. And thanks to you guys for making it possible a success. We'll see you guys right. next Friday. All right, we're going to pop this bubbly here. Pop the bubbly. That's right. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you on Friday next week. All Bye, right. Guys. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye. Love you guys.